The agricultural sector is strategic to national economic development. It remains the major source of food and raw materials for agro-industrial processing and has a strong link to employment, national income, market opportunities for industrial production, as well as strong potentials for poverty reduction. Little wonder then that all eyes are on the sector now to provide a way out of the many challenges facing the country, especially in the area of inflation management, job creation, among others. The Minister of Agriculture and Food Security does not let go the opportunity to inform Nigerians about the efforts of government through its agencies to ensure that Nigeria gets over the high cost of food and general inflation by harnessing the potentials of the nation's agricultural sector. Tonight, Transforming Agriculture in Nigeria will be focusing on these efforts by shedding light on what the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security and the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, amongst other agencies of government, are putting in place to ensure that the agricultural sector provides the much-needed relief for Nigerians. I am Gabriel Ojile. Please stay tuned to the full program coming up after the break. Every part of Nigeria has something to offer. The program starts with news from the diary of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security. In the diary tonight, CBN donates nearly 2.2 million bags of fertilizer to farmers through Agri Ministry. Also, IFAD pledges support to address food insecurity in Nigeria. Stay tuned for details after the break. In a bid to address food inflation and hunger in Nigeria, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has donated nearly 2.2 million bags of fertilizers to farmers through the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security. The ministry, the directors... This was announced by the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Olayemi Kadoso, during a meeting with the ministers of Agriculture and Food Security and other members of the management team of the ministry in Abuja. Cardoso stated that the donation worth 100 billion naira is to ensure that the escalating cost of food and non-alcoholic beverages in the country, which is part of the causes of inflation in Nigeria, is addressed. Cardoso added that it is the role of the CBN to stabilize prices and the donation would boost agricultural production and ensure food security and economic stability. We are delighted to announce the allocation of 2.15 million bags of fertilizer valued at over 100 billion naira, which we are humbly handing over to the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security. <laughs> this contribution from the Central Bank is aimed at amplifying food production capabilities and fostering price stabilization within the agricultural sector. My team and I reiterate our unwavering commitment to prioritizing price stability and instilling confidence in the Nigerian economy by upholding consumer price stability and ensuring a balanced foreign exchange market. In his reaction, the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Abubakar Kiari, on behalf of farmers and the ministry, appreciated President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and the central bank governor for the timely intervention and promised to ensure that the fertilizer gets to farmers across the country. We want to express our uh, profound appreciation on behalf of the Nigerian farmers to first to His Excellency the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Aswaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, and also to you, our dear brother, the governor of Central Bank and your team for giving us this wonderful, wonderful gift. Um, and it will, I assure you that uh, it will be judiciously used and uh, it will, be, will be deliver it to the last mile to the intended persons and to the intended farmers where they can reap the benefits of this huge gesture and by in turn to cultivate and produce more that will stem the galloping food inflation 
that is affecting our country. The International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, has expressed support for the declaration of a state of emergency on food security by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. IFAD stated its support through its Associate Vice President Donald Brown during a visit to the Ministers of Agriculture and Food Security in Abuja. To clear the Brown stated that though IFAD is not a humanitarian agency, it would continue to support smallholder farmers in Nigeria to help the country address food insecurity. Not only is my mission to strengthen our relationship uh, this week, but secondly is to look at the future direction of support that EFAG can provide the government. Part of that is looking at the new projects and part of it is looking at the performance of the existing projects and how we can strengthen the performance of the existing projects as well as design of new ones. Ministers, also speaking during the meeting, the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Abubakar Kiari, appreciated IFAD for its collaboration with the Ministry towards agricultural development in Nigeria and pledged more commitment to support smallholder farmers and others in the agricultural value chain towards ensuring food security and job creation in Nigeria. It is important to commend the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, for being a formidable force in addressing unprecedented challenges facing the global food system. The focus of EFAD on innovations for food secure future as exhibited in the last 47th session of EFAD governing council meeting in Rome is a right step in the right direction. Nigeria is committed to working closely with EFAD on inclusive agri-food system transformation and smallholder farmers empowerment. Also, our commitment to partnership with IFAD on innovative finance for food system is evident in our participation in the United Nations food system stock taking moment in July 2023. There is a nexus between the agricultural sector and the economic growth and development of most nations of the world. Getting it right in Nigeria's agricultural sector will no doubt lift the nation from many of its economic challenges. Our next segment will seek to highlight the many potentials in the agricultural sector and how agriculture can help the nation surmount the economic and social problems confronting the nation. We will draw from the various explanations provided by the ministers of agriculture on this as well as stating what action the government is taking to diversify the nation's economy through agriculture. Keep watching. Agriculture goes beyond cultivation of the soil for the planting and growing of food crops. It encompasses livestock production, aquaculture and fisheries. It also deals with forestry, production of raw materials for industrial use, and a wide range of activities along the agricultural value chain. Nigeria is richly blessed with over 70 million hectares of arable land and good weather conditions under which many crops can thrive. Every part of the country has an advantage when it comes to growing different crop types. The livestock subsector also has huge potentials. According to the 2017 data of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, Nigeria had 76 million goats, 43.4 million sheep, and 18.4 million cattle. In addition to small and large remnants, poultry population in the year was at 180 million. The livestock subsector was estimated to be over 33 trillion naira. And if you look at the percentage, those who are handling, 82% of, of our ruminant livestock are in the hands of the pastoralists, 82%. 17% are in the hands of the agro-pastoralists. And only 1% are in the hands of commercial farmers. So if you look at these livestock resources, they contribute a lot to the GDP of the country. The agricultural sector has a direct bearing on every human being. 
This underscores the high demand for agricultural produce for food and other raw materials. Production is, however, not commensurate with consumption in Nigeria, leading to food inflation. For the nation to surmount food inflation and other economic woes in the country, agriculture must be taken seriously by government, citizens and other stakeholders. Having identified the importance of agriculture in turning around the fortunes of Nigeria for good, the present administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in July 2023 declared a state of emergency on food security and ensuring that adequate attention is given to food security in the country. This much was explained during a ministerial press briefing. The minister went on to explain that agriculture is central to food security, job creation, poverty reduction, economic growth and development. This, he said, is the reason why six out of the eight-point agenda of the present administration is linked to agriculture. On our first uh, Federal Executive Council, we were given the eight-point The minister explained that the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security has taken action to ensure food security and economic stability through increased production, job creation to improve the livelihoods of Nigerians and other residents. What were actions that were taken since from that time? Um, we have looked at the cultivation window of the dry season starting from November, December. We had the wheat season in the first phase of the dry season, which was under the NAGS, the National Agricultural Growth Scheme, Agro Pocket Scheme, which was uh, assisted. Although Nigeria's agricultural sector today may have some natural challenges such as climate change, advancement in research, technology and innovation has shown that the sector has more potentials than it had in the 60s. However, the nation does not take advantage of these potentials like it did in the 50s and the 60s. Consequently, the country today is confronted with food insecurity despite the vast potentials of the country in the agricultural space. Seeking answers to the reason behind this, the House of Representatives invited the Minister of Agriculture to a session with members. The Deputy Speaker of House of Representatives, Right Honorable Benjamin Kalu, set the ball ruling by stating the precarious problem of food security. The growing concern surrounding food insecurity, despite the vast agricultural resources at our disposal including over 80 million arable hectares. Although only 34 million arable hectares 
are actively being cultivated. Honorable colleagues, our collective effort must focus on addressing both demand and supply factors along with the persistent challenge of food price inflation. True thorough analysis. Mr. Speaker, permit me the ministry to... explained in his brief to the House that the federal government is supporting farmers with 75% of inputs in the second phase of the National Agro Growth Scheme and Agro Pocket to boost production of staple foods such as rice, maize, cassava and for economic stability. The second phase is that of the rice, maize and cassava. However, that is not the only commodities that we are going to deal with under the National Agricultural Growth Scheme. We also have sorghum, soya uh, in the wet season. Now, what we have charted for the rice in the second phase is the cultivation of 150,000 of hectares under the NAGS agro pocket, and then also in the intervention, the support of the deficiency, because there's a deficiency in the NAGS. Let me give you an example of the deficiency I'm talking about. In the wheat program, the NAGS calls for 50% subsidy. When we had the calculation at that time, for one hectare, the EOP for that, the impulse is 360,000 Naira, and the 50% is 180,000 Naira, which means that the farmer was expected to come up with 180,000 Naira upfront and to be given full inputs of 360,000 Naira worth of both fertilizer and uh, pesticides and herbicides, and the seeds are free. Whether it is wheat, rice, or maize, or cassava, or sorghum, or soya, all the seeds that were given are free seeds. The Honorable Minister of Agriculture and Food Security during the sectorial debate at the National Assembly also disclosed that efforts are on to enhance mechanization and put more land into cultivation in keeping with the quest to make agriculture business oriented. Today we find out and we see that people are just doing agriculture as a means of survival and uh, subsistence. We have to make agriculture business. We have to turn it around. No doubt the federal government is committed to turning the fortunes of Nigeria around using the agricultural sector. Its plans goes beyond boosting production. The ministry is also supporting farmers with post-harvest and value addition equipment for food security and for economic growth and development. We also bring in uh, corn flour meal where people can even use it to grind it into flour, the sorghum. And that one is another hot cake now in the market. People don't wait until when they want to cook, they go and harvest, thresh it, grind it, and then bring it. People are there doing it as business. The program is transforming agriculture in Nigeria and we are discussing the potentials of Nigeria's agricultural sector and effort of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security in tapping the potentials for food security and economic development. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, is collaborating with the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security to curb inflation and stabilize their economy. In our next segment, Partnership for Development, we shall focus on the contribution of CBN and other stakeholders in ensuring food security as well as addressing inflation. Keep watching. The Central Bank of Nigeria has a mandate to maintain price stability. It has identified the high cost of food as a major component of inflation in Nigeria. This was further explained by the Governor of Central Bank, Olayemi Kadoso, during a meeting between the ministers and the staff of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security and the Central Bank of Nigeria on Wednesday, 13th of March, 2024. The Central Bank of Nigeria places a significant emphasis on maintaining price stability as one of its primary mandates. Food prices are a crucial component of inflation, especially considering that a substantial portion of household expenditure in Nigeria 
is allocated towards food and non-alcoholic beverages. This reinforces the critical need to address food inflation as a pivotal aspect of managing overall headline inflation rates. The central bank governor is optimistic that collaborating with the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security in boosting food production would no doubt help in curbing inflation and stabilizing the nation's economy. In this light, we aim to extend our support and foster closer ties with ministries, departments, and agencies that bear the mandate and expertise to undertake these critical initiatives. Consequently, we aim to enhance our partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture, thereby bolstering your endeavors to enhance food productivity and security, ultimately curbing food inflation and fortifying our pursuit of price stability. Still on curbing inflation, the federal government through the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security also has strategic food reserves for emergency and to ensure that farmers are not producing at a loss. The core mandates of these departments are, one, for the department to act as first sign of uh, emergency relief in terms of disaster. Secondly, we are to maintain the storage facilities, also construct the storage facilities as well. The Food and Strategic Reserve Department of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security also ensures that middlemen do not exploit the citizens by unnecessarily hiking food prices. This necessitates the plan to have adequate supply of foodstuff from the Strategic Food Reserve to citizens to ensure food security and stabilize food price for average Nigerians. For all the efforts of government to yield results, citizens and foreign investors are expected to take part directly or indirectly in farming or investing in the agricultural sector. Moving from subsistence farming to commercial farming, there is no way that we can depend upon those things, small, small things. The Ministry of Agriculture has put all these things in their policy called NATIP, and the mechanization is the, will be taken as a, uh, a priority so that we'll be able to achieve the mandate of taking agri agriculture to agribusiness agri and uh, doing it at the commercial level. But we need the foreign uh, partners to come. Quite a lot is happening in the agricultural sector, as we have heard the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security explain at different fora. Government is also making efforts to curb inflation and food insecurity from stabilization of inputs, checking double taxation to releasing grains from grains reserves. Government, however, needs for all hands to be on deck to ensure that the huge potentials of Nigeria and the agricultural sector are maximized for food security, income generation, and a stable economy. This is the much we can take on tonight's episode of the program. Keep a date with us, same time, same station next week for another insightful package. I am Gabriel Ujile. Good night. <laughs>